Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, another quick video showing you what I've done so far. Uh, spent most of the day getting the uh, battery backer slash power supply system power system uh, mounted in front. Just used um, some blocks. Um, was it? Uh, I think it was half inch square stock. Just cut about uh, three quarters inch long. Uh, pieces and drilled a hole in the end, tapped it and glued them in with high saw and it mounts right in front. Gives me a lot of room up there to put uh, put stuff and move things around if I need to. Also went ahead and made a uh, front mount for the um, power switch slash programmer for the, the power system up here. Uh, had to make sure everything cleared if you're not careful depending on how you do it you'll hit so I lowered it enough to clear the the nose comb when it goes on um, I won't be taking this off all the time you know between every flight it's actually going to have a uh, uh, this will also uh, you know if I need to do any kind of programming changing checking things I can look at this but if I don't want to take the nose off it's also going to have a uh, um, what do you call it? It's just a magnetic switch that you can hold up to the fuselage with the and turn it on and off. Um, so that'll also be put in there. Uh, and if I don't use it very much, I may end up taking this off and just plugging it in when I need it. And I can just mount something else there. Uh, pretty much got all this stuff done. Uh, as far as the air system goes, I still have to hook up the um, all the the electronic valves to their air tanks, which go to the corresponding accessory speed brakes, um, canopy open, stuff like that, gear doors. But to do that, I had to get the cockpit the cockpit installed, so I kind of see uh, what kind of room I have to work with. I may have to end up moving all this stuff. We'll see. But uh, against better judgment. I butchered them just like everybody else has done which really excuse the language pisses me off you know it's like 300 bucks for a cockpit that's not very done not done very well anyways but then you go and butcher it and you know trying to get it apart breaking things and it's just uh, there's got to be a better way they need to make their cockpits better just plain and simple so since I did that I went ahead and repainted some stuff, started trimming the front piece to put in there. Uh, I'm going to get the front, everything done, and then the back is what will be uh, the last part. Uh, went ahead, took took the heads up display back off, cleaned it up quite a bit, it was horrible, so uh, repainted it. Took the, the clear lenses, and I'm guessing they did the same thing that I'm doing. They just took some some servo boxes and cut them out. I went ahead and traced them. You can kind of see them in there. They're traced and I'll cut bigger uh, and then just sand them down because these were all scratched up and they were glued in uh, lopsided and they had glue all over the sides so it'll look better when I'm done and uh, once the cockpit's in and all this stuff uh, I know is going to fit then uh, I can go ahead and find a place to mount this guy and the brake valve. So, uh, getting down to the end, everything's just in the final hookup stages. I'm going to put the two air tanks, like I said before, in here uh, inside. You won't see them for the accessory air things. So, and then after that, I'll finish the push rods for the rudders and the wings, and then it'll be done. But uh, that's it. Figured out what this is for. This just closed right behind the, the back seat. So, uh, but you guys take it easy. I'm probably gonna call it call it a night.